It was with gratitude and joy that I experienced Elder Joe Bailey's message last Monday. When is it too late for salvation? It reminded me immediately of a book that was shared with us by our interim pastor, um, Allison Longman, about two years ago, entitled, If Grace is True, Why God Will Save Every Person. I wanted to share an excerpt from the book. One of the signs of maturity is when we stop believing everything we've been told. But a problem is our tendency to carve our beliefs in stone. We forge a life, we forget life is a series of experiences that continually challenge the beliefs we hold sacred. I was raised to believe homosexuals were sexual perverts and child molesters. They were the worst of sinners and doomed for hell. Since I knew no homosexuals, I found this belief easy to sustain. But actually, I did know a homosexual, I just didn't know it. Kevin is one of my closest friends. We had much in common. We went to the same college together. We shared a deep passion for God and ultimately both entered the ministry. I thought we shared an attraction to women. You can imagine my shock when he came to me one day and confessed his fear that he was gay. He was a well-loved pastor and a committed Christian but finally began to suspect why he wasn't attracted to the sisters, daughters, and nieces the church folk kept trying to match him up with. I assured him he wasn't gay, and we began to pray, study scripture, talk together, read articles. I watched him struggle and change over 15 years. He went from fighting his thorn in the flesh to not acting on his sinful desires, to accepting how God had made him, to seeking another man to share his life with. One day we had lunch together and Kevin nervously announced he'd met someone. I responded, I'm so glad. He relaxed and began to tell me about the man he'd met. As he talked, I realized two things. He was in love and was happier than I had ever seen him. In that moment, God made it clear to me my beliefs would have to change. Sadly, much of so-called Christianity in this country has morphed into a kind of opposition machine, militantly opposing others. Uh, favorite targets at the moment are Islam and LGBTQ, um, but stay tuned for 2022. Who knows who the next enemies will be. Shunning others allows one to take comfort in knowing that, uh, that we are God's people and they are doomed for all eternity. What a perversion of Christ's message of love and hope for all mankind. I too believe that God will save every person. And yes, Joe, it's never too late. Have a great Monday and a good one.